Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Kenyan American Home. And if this is the first time you're joining me, welcome, welcome. In Kenya, we say karibu. Karibu is welcome in Swahili. And uh, if you haven't done it already, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you become part of the Kenyan American home family. And my people, man, I know, eh? I know I haven't, I haven't been doing as many videos in 2024, but that will change very soon. I'm clearing my calendar. Yeah, to make sure that I make time to give you more content. More content is coming. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back with a lot of videos. So to jump on to the topic today, I, this video, I would have done this video a long time ago, but better late than never. Better late than never. So today we're going to be uh, talking about the top 10 coldest states in the U.S. Yeah. I know people often ask me, hey man, I you know I wanna I wanna I wanna come to the US, but I don't wanna go to a state that is really cold. So I'm gonna give you my experiences because I've been to all the 10 states on the list. So you know this is not so I'm gonna I'm gonna try, you know, there's there's that you can Google this information and go find that Google, but you know, oftentimes it's you know it's like facts and state and you know all these things that people that in Google, but what I'm gonna share with you today, I'm gonna share with you a personal experience of me actually going to those states and some of those states have actually lived in them. So, you know, what are the top 10 coldest states in the, in, in the US? So some of the states that are not on the list that are really cold, you know, they're, they're equally cold uh, is, you know, that are not on the top 10 list. Number one is uh, South Dakota. South Dakota did not make it on the list, but it's equally cold. So South Dakota, New Hampshire, New Hampshire is in new, you know, it's New England. And I'm going to be showing you the map too. So I'm going to show you the map and kind of talk about, you know, my tight, you know, my, what, what is my experience there? How, you know, do I think it's really cold? So yeah, New Hampshire is, is part of the New England area that is cold. It's cold, but it's, it, it didn't make it in the list. It didn't make it in the list. Some you know, some of the other states are like Iowa, Iowa. I always cold. Hey, I always cold, but it didn't make it in the list. So what's that list? You know, drum rolls. Let's, you know, let's get started. Let's get started. And number 10 of the coldest states in the U.S. So like if you're thinking about moving to the U.S. this and you don't like cold and you, you know, cold is not your thing. Maybe trying to try to avoid the states. So coming in at number 10 is Michigan. Now, Michigan uh, Michigan is in the, you know, it's in the mid, let me share, let me share there. Let me share the, the, the map here. So Michigan is number 10 and where is Michigan? I think it's really good to be able to, you know, to be able to share, uh, this map with you guys. So Michigan, so you can see, this is a map of there. This is a map of, you know, us, and Canada, U.S. and Canada, and you'll notice what one of the one of the things you'll notice is that the cold some of the coldest states they are bordered by Canada. See, bordered by Canada here. So some of the states are bordered by Canada, and there's a correlation. A state that is super close to Canada is probably gonna be very cold. So where is Michigan? Michigan is right here in yellow. And here, let me let me zoom in on Michigan. And I'll tell you one thing. So as you'll see, Michigan, Michigan is like, it's really close to Ontario, Canada. So you see, kind of borders Canada. But one of the things that makes Michigan really cold is that Michigan is surrounded by lakes. See, so there's Lake Erie right here, Lake Erie. Uh, there's Lake Huron. Lake Huron is over there. And then there's, uh, there's Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan pretty much, uh, you know, kind of begins in Michigan. It's in Michigan, Lake Michigan. So you'll see the state of Michigan is really surrounded by, by the lakes. This is kind of like the lake effect during the winter is really bad. So this kind of makes Michigan really cold. But Michigan also, you know, when, you, when you're thinking in terms of East Africans, Michigan, uh, so in relation to where Michigan is, is located, Michigan is somewhere, you know, I don't know if Michigan is, uh, it's east, east, Eastern time zone. So it's, it's probably on the east. Uh, so because it has Eastern time zone, it's located on the east. But 
also, this is my experience with Michigan. Michigan, I'm actually going there. When am I going to Michigan? I'm going there in uh, in uh, a couple of weeks. I'm going there on the, is it the what? what uh, wait, let me see. So we're in February. I'm recording this on uh, February 4th. And I'll be in Michigan on the 17th. So the 17th of this month. So in two weeks, I'll be in Michigan. It's cold. Michigan is cold, but there's, you know, there's a lot of Kenyans in Michigan. There's a lot of good schools in Michigan. People go there. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's cold because it's surrounded by the lakes, but it's also during the summer. You know, it's also beautiful during the summer because it's not, you're surrounded by all these lakes. So that means there's a lot of things to do during, during the summer. That's, you know, that's Michigan. Uh, you know, the really big schools, like the University of Michigan is a big school. Uh, Michigan State, another big school. So a lot of good schools in Michigan. A lot of a lot of people that come into the U.S. You know, from uh, East Africa, they come to Michigan mostly because of school, but also Michigan. One of the things that Michigan is known for uh, is like Detroit, Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, Michigan is like the mortal city, mortal city where there's like the GMC, uh, where uh, so mortal city because there's uh, that you know they they manufacture manufacture vehicles in uh, in, Mich- in Michigan. Michigan. Detroit is also, Detroit is known for so many other things. It's the motor city, but it's also known for being dangerous. But otherwise, you know, talk about Lansing, Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan. I'm actually going to uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. I've I've actually done previously, if you go into my YouTube videos, you'll see videos of me in uh, Lansing. Uh, you'll also see videos of me in Grand Rapids. So, I, you know, I don't mind Michigan. It's called uh, you just need to know. So number 10, Michigan. What about number nine? So number nine is Vermont. Vermont. Now Vermont is beautiful. It's like, talk about beautiful states. Uh, Vermont is one of the New England, New England states. So there is six states in the New England. So it's like, uh, Ma- you know, Massachusetts, Maine, Connecticut, uh, Rhode Island, and uh, what am I missing? Wait, so Massachusetts, Maine, Rhode Island, uh, New Hampshire, Vermont. Yep, yep, those six. So Vermont is really, really known for skiing. It's like really beautiful. It has like really beautiful small cities. I've been there, you know, I've been there and it's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful state, but it, it, it really gets cold. It really gets cold. And let me show you, let me show you the map of where Vermont is. Vermont. So again, uh, this one is really close to Canada. Let me take off this. This one's really close to Canada, but you'll see here. So this is Vermont right here. Vermont is kind of bordered by, you know, so there is uh, New Hampshire, it borders there, but there's also, it, it also, it's also bordered by New York, also bordered by New York. New York is equally cold too, but, so yeah, New Hampshire, uh, so it's New Hampshire, borders, you know, Vermont. So Vermont is the ninth coldest state in, in the, you know, in the U.S. It gets, you know, the winters get brutal, winters get brutal. But it's, you know, it's also, it's right across, you know, right across Vermont is the state, uh, is the state of, uh, province of Quebec, 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 Quebec mostly speaks French. So this, this is, this is in Canada, Quebec mostly speaks French. So there you have it, there you have it, Vermont, good mountains, good skiing, but it has the most snow in the U.S. So the most snow you'll get it in Vermont. So that's Vermont. Uh, number, it's Vermont number nine. So I'm gonna, let me try and let me try and kind of speed up so that we're not, you know, we're not here. Uh, number eight for a long time. Number eight is Idaho. Number eight is Idaho. Idaho is really that one state. One of the things that they know in Idaho is known for is potatoes. Potatoes. There's uh, uh, Idaho. They grow a lot of potatoes. Grow a lot of potatoes. So. You know, if you love potatoes, and <laughs> Idaho will be your state. I've been to Boise, Boise, Idaho. 
Uh, and it's, I don't mind Boise. Not very many, not very many Africans live in, uh, live in, uh, in Idaho, but also not, you know, on the previous state, Vermont, not very many East Africans or Africans live in Vermont because, it, you know, it gets cold. It gets, it's, it's, mo- it's, it's one of the whitest states in the U.S., Vermont. And then Idaho, too, not very many, not very many uh, East Africans. So if you're looking for, you know, a place where you'll have that community, then, you know, Vermont or Idaho are probably not going to be your, not going to be those states. All right. So let's, let's go to the maps and I'll show you where Idaho is. And you'll see it's kind of, you know, Idaho kind of borders Canada, borders Canada, uh, uh, BC. But, you know, it's, it's between Washington, Oregon, uh, Nevada, Utah. You know, it's surrounded by Wyoming and Montana. So it's kind of a state that is bordered by all these states. All these states border Idaho. So, but if you're looking for, you know, the African community, you're probably not going to get it in Idaho. Not going to get it in Idaho. All right. Number seven. Number seven on the list is Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So really, Wisconsin is really known for, uh, Wisconsin is known for the cheese. It's like the dairy capital, dairy capital of the U.S. They produce a lot of cheese in Wisconsin. A lot of good schools in Wisconsin, but it, it's also cold. Part of the reason why uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin is really cold is because, you know, Lake Superior, Lake Superior plays, uh, plays uh, a big role in that. Uh, here, let me share, let me share the map here. And then I'll take you to Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Wisconsin is cold, but it's also, you know, I, I don't mind Wisconsin. So Wisconsin, you know, bordered by a lot by Minnesota. Uh, and then there's, uh, uh, there's Illinois, Iowa, and then Lake Michigan and Lake Superior. So this Lake Superior effect, it's, it's, it's you know, it's a big thing. It's a big thing, which makes Wisconsin kind of cold. But you'll find Kenyans in Wisconsin, find Kenyans in Wisconsin, find Kenyans in in Michigan. So, but, you know, Wisconsin is much colder than Michigan is, than Michigan is. So, yeah, so there you have it. There you have it. And I am a Green Bay Packers fan. So, you know, love Milwaukee, love Oshkosh. You know, I've been there, uh, been there speaking in Oshkosh. And uh, yeah, Wisconsin. I don't mind Wisconsin. Wisconsin is not a bad state. It's not a bad state. All right. Number six on the list is Maine. Maine is really known for lobsters. It's known for lobsters. But Maine is kind of, it's one of those, uh, you're not going to find a lot of Kenyans in Maine. Maine is the biggest state in uh, the New England area. So among the six states here, let me show you that map. I think it will make more sense when I show you the map. So if you go to you know the map here and let me take off let me take this away and so you'll see maine maine is the biggest of the you know six new england states so maine uh new hampshire vermont massachusetts rhode island connecticut so those are the those are the six uh six new england states all this so, yep, yeah, but there you have it. Maine, and Maine is really, so Maine is bordered by uh, Quebec. Quebec, you yeah, let me. Quebec, the French-speaking uh, uh, Canadian province. So Maine is bordered by Quebec. It's bordered by New Hampshire. But, you know, it also borders the Atlantic. And then also it's bordered by the Canadian province of New Brunswick. New Brunswick. So that's Maine. Uh, brrr, yeah. Beautiful way. Beautiful, somewhat, yeah, somewhat beautiful. Nice beaches in Maine, but it's cold. And not very many Kenyans, you'll find them in Maine. So if you're looking for uh, Kenyans, you know, Tanzanians, Ugandans, probably not going to find them in, uh, probably not going to find them in Maine. In Maine. All right. So, and on the other, the number five on the list is Montana. Montana. Montana, big sky country. So, this is really close to so this uh, close to where I lived for the second longest time in the U.S. 
I've lived, you know. So uh, Montana, Montana is known as the big sky country. A lot of skiing, a lot of skiing. Montana is known, yeah, a lot of skiing. It's called big sky country. It's like the skies look big, but there's, you know, there's bears and all that. And it's cold. Montana is cold, but there's just, you know, there's so many other things. There's ice fishing, there's hunting, there's, yeah. So Helena is the capital of Montana. I've been to Billings. I've been to, you know, so I've I've driven through Montana, you know, because I to get to get to here. Let me go back to the map, and then I bring you. So this, because you, so you'll notice we talked, you know, we talked about Wisconsin, and then uh, so you see this. These are states that are really close to Canada, really close to Canada. So here's Montana. Montana kind of borders. You know, on uh, Alberta and Saskatchewan and BC, British Columbia, or, and it also borders Idaho, borders uh, Wyoming, South Dakota, and North Dakota. North Dakota. So, you know, North Dakota, North Dakota is really flat. Montana has mountains, and so there's like, because so North Dakota, one of the reasons, and we'll, you know, we'll get to North Dakota, but you, so you'll see, it's really. Yeah, big sky country, not very many Kenyans again, uh, or East Africans that live in Montana. All right, number five, number four. Number four is Wyoming. Wyoming. So Wyoming is, you know, just it's uh, at the bottom of bottom of Montana. Bottom of Montana, bordered by Idaho, Utah, Colorado, Nebraska, and South Dakota. What, you know, one of the things I love about Idaho, uh, Wyoming, Wyoming is a beautiful, Wyoming is a beautiful state. It's a beautiful state. It has really, you know, uh, uh, really good fishing. Montana, too, is also good for fishing. So if you're a big fisherman, uh, Wisconsin, Michigan, Wisconsin, this, all these states in the Midwest are really good fishing places. But, you know, Wyoming, really good fishing really good hunting in Wyoming. So if you're into hunting, but not very many Kenyans, not very many East Africans again. You're not going to find very many East Africans or Africans, you know, in Wyoming, in Wyoming. <laughs> I have family that live, you know, in Cheyenne, Wyoming. But also, you know, Wyoming, you'll find Yellowstone. Yellowstone is really beautiful. So if you, you know, you're listening to this and if you want to kind of, you know, want to do a road trip, do a road trip to do a road trip to, to Wyoming. Do a road trip to Wyoming. Go visit Yellowstone. Yellowstone, uh, go visit some, you know, some, it's beautiful. Yellowstone is beautiful. One of the most underrated uh, national treasures in the U.S., Yellowstone. Uh, yeah, and some really good, good forest land. And uh, yeah, that's Wyoming. That's Wyoming. It's, there's no taxes in Wyoming. That's you know that's one of the things to know. I think of all the states, all the states in the list, Wyoming is the only state that doesn't have income tax, state income taxes. All right, then let's jump on to number three. Not very many East Af you know East Africans living in in Wyoming, but this state here, this state here, Minnesota. It's one of the my, one of my big wonders is how, like, there's one big community here, Kenyan community, Kenyan <laughs> tribe that is mostly in Minnesota, the Kisi community. There's a lot of Kisis, a lot of Kisis in Minnesota. And, you know, Kisis are known for winning the, the DV lottery. So a lot of DV lottery winners in that state. But there's also a lot of Somalis. In, in Minnesota because it's kind of like where they bring all the refugees, like, you know, all the refugees from uh, Somalia. They, you know, they were they were brought to Minnesota. There's a big Somalian community in Minnesota. There's a big East African community in Minnesota. So, yeah, I don't understand because Minnesota is absolutely cold. It is cold. It's really cold. Yeah. But here, let me show you the map of, uh, of uh, Minnesota. So here's Minnesota. Minnesota. You can say Midwest. Midwest. So Minnesota is bordered by Ontario, but it's also bordered by uh, Manitoba. Manitoba. So it's bordered by Manitoba. 
and then North Dakota, South Dakota, and Iowa and Wisconsin. And Wisconsin. Lake Superior effect is also here, but also the Canadian effect is also big here. Minnesota, uh, known for the as the land of 10,000 lakes. During the summer, Minnesota is awesome. Minnesota is awesome during the summers. Like a lot of lakes, you know, Itasca, I love Itasca. You know, we used to go when I when I used to live in uh in the I think the state that is 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 number two in coldest. I used to, you know, used to go to Minnesota a lot. I love, I love Minnesota. Love Minnesota. Capital is Minneapolis, Minnesota. A lot of, you know, <laughs> a Brooklyn Park people, but a lot of, a lot of, yeah, a lot of East Africans in Minnesota. A lot of East Africans in Minnesota. This is the, I, it's, it's one of those things I don't understand. Why is it that they like Minnesota when it's so cold? When it's so cold. And then number two on the list is North Dakota, North Dakota. So this was my home state. When I came into the US, this is the state I came to. This is why I've, so I've lived in North Dakota, the second coldest <laughs> state in the US. It is absolutely cold. North Dakota is flat. Cost of living is really, really low. You know, there was a time when I, when I moved to North Dakota, I used to pay a one bedroom apartment, $300 for a one bedroom apartment. You know, you're, like, you're looking for a place to save North Dakota. You're probably not gonna get paid so much, but North Dakota, cost of living is, uh, school is, you know, schools are cheap, uh, you know, schools are cheap. I went to North Dakota State University, a big agricultural university. Agriculture is big in North Dakota. Is what, I think uh, if, if it's not the top, it's uh, one of the biggest producers of oil seeds. Something really interesting is, hey, let me, let me go on to the map. Really interesting. You'll find that some of these states that, this really cold state, so you'll see all these states, they border Canada. So North Dakota is bordered by Saskatchewan and Manitoba. It's like some of the worst of Canada. Borders, borders North Dakota. Uh, and then Minnesota, South Dakota, Montana. North Dakota is really cold because it's super flat. It's super flat. But... North, like agriculture is big. Agriculture is big in, you know, this states, all these cold states, agriculture is really big. Agriculture is big in Minnesota, North Dakota, Montana, Idaho, which is really interesting because these people, they only have one season to plant. Because most of, you know, North Dakota, it's kind of like six months of it is in winter. Summer is is, is really hot and humid. And really nice people in North, I feel like the nicest people in the US are in North Dakota. You, you won't find very many Kenyans. You won't find, uh, you know, you won't find very many Kenyans and you won't find very many East Africans, but you'll find really, really awesome Americans that live in, you know, that live in North Dakota. My camera, I think is doing that thing. Look at this. I've been testing this camera. And it's like, hey man, let me. It's 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 moving itself. It's supposed to be like, okay, go far, go close. Come on, do your thing. It's, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but there you have it. Number two, North Dakota. I've lived here, I lived here for like six years. So I know cold. This is cold. Like once it snows, the snow doesn't go away. Like it sometimes it starts snowing in October, in November. And then the snow doesn't go away until April, May, April, May. So, yeah, if you're going to North Dakota, it's really cheap, but it's really cold. Really cheap, but also it's really cold. So, yeah, there you have it. And then number one on the list, Alaska. Voila, Alaska. So I've been to all these states and I actually think North Dakota, I think North Dakota is colder than Alaska. Maybe it's the places that I've been to in Alaska that were not as cold. But, you know, I, I don't doubt the list because Alaska is really close to the North Pole. Alaska is really close to the North Pole. Here, let me share the map here. Share the map. And this video went longer than I expected, but, you know, I think it's good. It's good information. So Alaska. See, Alaska is funny because it's kind of like, you know, uh, this, this is the U.S. down here. Let me move this. 
This is the U.S. down here, and this is Alaska. It's part of the U.S. Part of the U.S., but it's kind of like it's you know it's at the tip, so really close to the North Pole, close to the North Pole. But yeah, so I have been to Alaska. I've been to so the capital of Alaska is Anchorage. Been to Anchorage. Alaska fishing, man. If you love fishing, if you love hunting, ah, a bit, you know, if you love hunting, Alaska is your thing. If fishing, absolutely. I think the best fishing I've ever done in Alaska. And I've, so I've been to Anchorage. I've been to uh, Valdez. I've been to Valdez. I've been to Valdez. And it's, you know, it's like, it's this, yeah. Alaska is, yeah, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Alaska doesn't have, wait, does Alaska have taxes? Really low taxes in Alaska. It's expensive to live in Alaska. But it's, you know, it's one of those places that people go, like people run away and to start life. People run away and start life in Alaska. So, yeah, people run away and start life in Alaska. Yeah, there you go. It's acting. It's acting. All right, there you go. Yeah, so Alaska, number one on the list. So there you have it. You probably will not find very many Kenyans in Alaska. Uh, you know, Alaska has a reputation for, like, when people want to start, you know, or are running away from life and things, they go hide in Alaska. But it's also... <laughs> so, yeah, there's all sorts of stories and... And, 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 and mysteries about Alaska, about Alaska. I've been there. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I feel like, to me, some people say Hawaii is the most beautiful state in the U.S. Personally, I think Alaska is the most beautiful state in the U.S. You know, I've, I've been to like Valdez. And when you're in Valdez, you can see the mountains and the ocean in the same place, which it's absolutely beautiful. Can you imagine waking up Outside your window, you're looking at the mountains, but you're also looking at the ocean. Looking at, so yeah, I've been there. I've been fishing in Alaska. I've been crabbing in Alaska. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful state. People go there, you know, sometimes to ski. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a good skiing. Uh, yeah, ice fishing. Just, you know, ice fishing, other fishing in Alaska. There you have it. Those are their top 10 coldest states in the u.s coldest states in the u.s and i've done it you know i've been to all those states and uh i've kind of given my personal touch you know sometimes when they when, when you when you go on google they, they they're giving you all these things that <sighs> yeah but i've been to all those states i've traveled to all those states and i absolutely absolutely you know i think this the list is it it, it does it does and i've lived in I've lived in the second coldest state in the in the US. You'll survive, you know, you'll survive. So if you're looking for if you don't want if you don't like the cold, don't move to any of those states. Yeah, those states get cold. Don't move to any of those states. So I'll do another list of the warmest states in the US. Warmest states in the US. All right, guys. Thank you so much and thank you for watching me. You know, again, if you haven't, uh, you know, leave me a like, share this video you know, with somebody that you think is coming, you know, somebody you know is coming to the U.S., is planning to come to the U.S., and is looking at some of the states they want to avoid if they want to avoid the cold. So, yeah, make sure you share this video. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. And, you know, make sure you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that. Otherwise, man, yeah, promise you that lots of content is coming. I'm clearing up my calendar so that I can do, I can do more, 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 more content. Otherwise, thank you, my people. And, uh, you know, hope you have a good rest of your day. Aye. And that's it, man. That's it. That's it, my people. That's it. That's it.